Tucker Carlson, there's this thing come out. Here, I'll show you real quick. There was an a audio of him coming out and um, that came out. Hold on one second. Where's I, wanna be a, I, I don't want to be a... Pause. Hold on. Right. I don't want to be a jerk, but too late. Um, this is Tucker Carlson talking into his phone like a Kardashian on the set, the former set of Tucker Carlson Today, a show that had such bad ratings, uh, they could have Russell Brand and Jimmy Dore and Marianne Williamson and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on, and nobody gave a shit. And, um, well, you don't have to, you know, I, you don't need me to tell you that Fox Nation is ass. Listen to somebody who used to work there. Have people watch anyway. Um, we're going to, uh, because I, 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 you know, I'm like, I, I don't want to be, I, I don't want to be a slave to Fox Nation, which I don't think that many people watch anyway. Um, we're going to, uh, because I, 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 you know, I'm like a representative of the American media now. Totally. That's, that's how we think of you. Yes. Um, of everything wrong with it, you mean? Speaking to an exile in Romania and welcoming him back into the Brotherhood of Journalists. Andrew Tate. It would help us out if you wore a sweater, though, because we asked him not to wear a suit. Like, he was panicking about it. So, you don't have to. Tucker's going to be looking uh, casual. That's just how our show looks. And I think, that he, like, he doesn't have a suit because he's in prison. I Honestly, I don't know who the fuck he's talking about, but I don't, and I don't care. But I think it's hilarious. This is what the conversation is about, though. That whoever is a guest is, is uh, not going to be wearing a suit. And uh, he wanted Tucker to not wear a suit as well. So it looked like they're just shooting the shit. But Mr. Bowtie is not having it. Is that okay? I... I, I... I mean, this is airing on the nighttime show, and I want it to look official. I don't want it to be like bro talk. And I, and I. <laughs> Which is his, his other show he was trying to launch before they fired him. Tucker's bro talk. You know what I mean? No, no, you, there is nothing you could wear that would make you look like a bro. Nothing at all. <laughs> he would always look like somebody who was carrying Paul Ryan's bags for that weightlifting shoot that he did with his hat on backwards. Yeah, but the majority of it, like if we go like 45 minutes, it's going to be for Fox Nation. But nobody's going to watch it on Fox Nation. Nobody watches Fox Nation because the site sucks. See, I look, <laughs> man, I'm tired of being right. Um, how many times have I told you this? That they, they put Tucker on there because they were going to, sh they were shoveling him more money in a way that wouldn't upset Sean Hannity. But n not because he was getting more viewers or anything. As a matter of fact, they were trying to swipe some viewers from his nightly show over there and letting him phone this shit in. They just slather it out every couple of days or whatever the fucking the schedule was. So I'd really like to just put the dump the whole thing on YouTube. Um, but anyway, that's just my view. Wait, YouTube? I thought YouTube was run by Google, which is owned by Alphabet, which is censoring people. How do you even stay online? How is it possible that you can even post these videos with the censorship? Aren't you worried about them being shadow banned? Um, uh, uh, eh. You've been uh, taking elocution lessons from Dinesh D'Souza? I'm just frustrated with the, uh, in. It, it's hard to use that site. I don't know why they're not fixing it. It's driving me. Why would they fix it? Since no one goes, it's a it's a self uh, perpetuating problem. It is uh, it's just spiraling downward, and I think them giving you a show on it was a sign of that that sort of DGAF attitude. Insane, and they're like making like lifetime movies, but they don't they don't work on the infrastructure of the site. Like what? Like what? It's crazy. And it's crazy. The infrastructure of the site. What the fuck are you talking about? It's it's a media website. What's confusing about it? It's not that people aren't having a hard time figuring out how to subscribe to Fox Nation. They're trying they're having a hard time figuring out why.
Even with him on, even the he's a media, he's a representative of the American media, he's the number one show on Fox News, and they put him on Fox Nation, and they can't manage to get even the hardcore maggots to give a fuck because they have to pay. And it drives me crazy because it's... That's, I, I wouldn't blame that. We're doing all this extra work and no one can find it. It's Well, they can find it. They just don't bother. Is that does this asshole actually think people were looking for foxnation.com and Tucker Carlson today and couldn't click on the right things? That it was just a like it's such a oh, it's murky. I don't even know what do I click on my face or the words or the title or the link or do they uh, they all work? But yeah, but what if I click on both at the same can you can't click twice and two different things at the same time. It's not how a mouse works. But how do I it the It's a way to have faith in your audience, by the way. You gotta understand that my audience are dumb fucks. They'll never find this. Well, it's because they don't have a snazzy name like infotainmentwars.com. Like, subscribe. All right. Believable, actually. It's quite believable. I don't know who runs that site, but N no one. No, and it's it's automated. We're gonna play a sizable chunk on the show tomorrow night. That's the plan. And then what it's gonna do is drive a lot of people to watch this on Fox Nation. It's gonna be oh yeah, that yeah, that's something they've been telling him for a while. A great help to what we're doing. Oh, it's gonna be great. Yeah, we're gonna play a huge chunk of of stuff on your nightly show, and then that's gonna make people go, "Ooh, this is sweet." Him in front of a bunch of wood, yammering with some dickhead again. Long form. Um, I tune in every night for three minute snippets and him brooming Candace Owens after one segment. And now I'm going to, I. but it's really because I've been waiting for him to do long hour plus podcast formats in a fucking sauna with a TV in it. I know, but I, we, we're doing our part. We're like working like animals to produce all this content and the people in charge of it, whoever that guy's, whatever his name is, like they're ignoring the fact that the site doesn't work. And it, it's, I think it's like a betrayal of our efforts. That's how I. Yes, I, you sh that's, that's why he left. A lot of people say it's because he was in, involved in a sexual harassment or a hostile workplace uh, suit and, or he cost the network tens of millions of dollars by himself. No, no, no. It's because he felt betrayed by how little faith Fox had in Fox Nation as a website. That's, it, it upset him so much that he talked into his phone like somebody auditioning for a commercial on candy bars. Um, anyways, so needless to say, uh, dickhead's very upset with the whole, uh, this, this business. What's your last word? I feel so I, of course I resent it. Of I course, resent. of course I resent it. Of course. And resentment is not how you want to live your life. You know, you know, if I do say so.